Good morning, everyone. Jill here with North Texas Fishbowl Gardening, canning recipes, a little bit of everything. It's a froggy morning again, and we have a chance of rain today. I don't think it's very high. I think it's 50 to 70 percent. Um, move through around noon, but we'll see. So right now, we are in the middle of harvesting the last of our summer vegetables. Um, some of them still may continue, but I think um, we're coming to the end. We do not really see any freezing temperatures coming in sight. Um, we are expecting a cold front on Thursday, and it's going to drop us down, I think, Saturday morning to 35 degrees. That's where it stands right now. That could change. So we're still in growing weather as far as our summer plants go, but some of this stuff has got to come out. These are my peas, uh, my purple hulls, and I've been letting some of them dry out so I can go ahead and get the seed out of them. You can hear, it's pretty dry. So I'll get the seeds out of these pods for next year to plant. Um, but what I wanna tell you is I'm not gonna pull these up. I've got to do something different to preserve my soil. So we harvested another five gallons, guys, of our Anaheim peppers. These are absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful green, plump, and uh, so I'll be processing those, and I'm also gonna be selling some. Our bell peppers have finally come in, and these are looking fantastic. You can see that these are really great sizes that we're gonna enjoy, and I think what we're gonna do is we're going to freeze dry the bulk of these. I'm starting to see some of my winter squash. Here's a couple of the acorn squashes. I do have some spaghetti squash coming in. So uh, yeah, these are, these are looking really beautiful. Can't wait to see um, how these taste and what's going on inside of them. And I have some radishes. This is the Easter basket variety, guys. You can see I have several different varieties of radishes in here. So I'm gonna get these cleaned up. They're sitting in a five gallon bucket right now. So I'm gonna have water and I'm gonna get them cleaned up and snipped up and ready. Now these are the black cream tomatoes that I started by seed a couple of weeks back. These will be going into the little high tunnel um, because we're gonna see if we can't get these going. So we'll have an early harvest, possibly in March. And then I have some more collard greens and some more arugula that's gonna be going in today. This is one of our pumpkins. We're gonna go ahead and get the seeds out of this for next year. And we think that we're gonna to have to plant these much earlier, guys. But the problem with planting much earlier here in Texas is our heat is still very extreme. And uh, July and August maybe when we should start those seeds and get them in. And it's just so hard to keep our cool weather plants going until they can get a reprieve from the hot weather and um, get cooled down to where they can start to prosper. These uh, peas prospered for us a great deal. We got uh, quite a bit that we um, blanched and froze. And then of course I'm saving seeds from the rest of these pods, but I'm not gonna pull these up guys, because guess what? I do not want to disturb the biology of the soil. We worked really hard on these raised beds to get this soil um, biologically um, strong to uh, to help us grow better and um, to not have to use as many fertilizers. And so we want to be careful not to just rip these up out of the ground and disturb, especially that mycorrhizal fungi. So I'm cutting them down as close to the ground as I can get right now. I might go a little bit further once I get it all cleaned out in here and I can see um, what's going on. But let's look at this soil, guys. Look at that. So again, this is that mycorrhizal that we've been putting in here and Greg has been putting EM1. And it is really making a fantastic soil in our raised beds, which is gonna come in handy in the springtime. Okay, so I got them all cut down to the nub. I'm gonna clean it out a little bit, but Greg is gonna spray these leaves down with his EM1 and it'll help them break down and feed the soil back. Now, to determine what are we gonna plant in here, because we don't want to leave, remember guys, bare soil. So now I gotta 
figure out what it is, I'm gonna put in this handy dandy raised bed. So the root balls will die back in the soil and go ahead and uh, keep the mycorrhizal fungi in there and the microbes and looky there. You dirty dog. So I went ahead and cut one of the kale plants way back and I'll show you why. Look at that guys, an aphid infestation on the bottom leaves. And it was just so bushy and so big, I don't think that I would have been able to get them under control. My Shenzhou bok choy is looking pretty good on most of them. Some of them have some insect damage and Greg is treating them with his concoction this morning. You see this one, this almost looks like a grasshopper because um, that's heavy, heavy damage. My purple top turnips are starting to come in in some spots and guys, there's mosquitoes out here like crazy with all this damp moisture. So while we're doing more cleanup today, we're going ahead and picking our pods uh, for our seeds that we're gonna be saving next year. Be sure and do that in your cleanup, guys. We finally got us a really good harvest of jalapenos and I'm gonna can these up. But look at these, some of these are just huge, guys. These would be great for stuffed jalapenos, which Greg loves to make. And then the others I can can up and I did a video on that, guys, um, about five years ago. And let me tell you something, it's super easy. Be sure and go find that and check that out. But these bigger ones, we'll use to make stuffed jalapenos. That sun is trying to come out, guys, and it is heating up and it is so muggy and so humid. So that's the wrap for this video today. I hope this helps you uh, in determining not to pull up your plants. Um, if you want to keep uh, your, your good fungus and your good microbes and good stuff in your soil, it will really help out in the springtime. And I think I've decided what I'm gonna put in here. I think I'm gonna put my collard greens and I think I'm gonna put my arugula in here um, and see if I can't keep that going uh, over the winter. So uh, I looked at the forecast and the weather has changed. It's now saying that we may get down to 33 degrees on Sunday. And again, normally our weather forecast um, is for the city and we are a little bit further out. So we could get a freeze uh, Sunday morning. And if we do, we're fine with that. I'm looking forward again to the, to the cool weather right now. Like I said, it's hot and muggy. Um, so the cool down will be nice. It'll be very nice. We got lots of cleanup to do around the property and, um, and just get ready for our spring garden and we're going to continue to start some more seeds for our winter garden because um, you know in Texas we do have mild winters and if we can uh, keep cauliflower and cabbage and broccoli going and our onions our onions are doing really good and um, any of our other cool weather plants we're sure going to try to do that and keep things going year-round now the high tunnels help us do that but there's certain things that will survive outside and those are some of those things so Lots of planning, lots of cleaning, um, lots of sorting out. I've got some things that are bolting in the small high tunnel that I'm gonna have to go ahead and pull up. And uh, then we've got to get a load of compost. We weren't able to get it last week because of the rain. And uh, frankly, the heavy trucks coming down our gravel drive is not good. And so we've not been able to get a, a truckload of compost, which we desperately need. But hopefully we'll be able to get that in the coming days. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care, God bless. Please hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and a like, and uh, let me know how your fall in your winter garden, because um, some of you are in winter, we're not, uh, is going, and uh, what you guys are growing, and uh, we will be in touch. Take care, God bless. We love you all.